Hi everyone. Nice day. And um got Johnny. And um it's an extra nice day because something came in the mail today. Aha. It's the water buffalo hand sized text bible from Church Bible Publishers in um, water buffalo and this is cranberry with gold, gold gilding and it's cranberry red very deep and I'll show you in a minute just was going to show you our lizard here's my friendly lizard I know it's got nothing to do with Bibles but yes it's one of God's creatures Here they are. Look. Here. Yeah. Want to feature? Come on. That's it. That's it. You like being fed. This one. Number one. This is a sleepy lizard, the shingleback. Lizard in South Australia, and um, I've been hand feeding that guy. That's, that's a boy, he's got a big head, it's a, a male. Uh, the females uh, have a smaller head, and um, I've been feeding him for years. They live for uh, about 25 years believe it or not and the, the other amazing thing about those lizards is they give live birth they gestate uh, one to two young for six months the females and then they give live birth so anyway back to Bibles so this is my new Bible I'm going to pop this camera down so so excuse me for a second so I can just put it on the tripod so we can have a look at this Bible properly. There's the light. Maybe there. Anyway, let's see. This is the um, authorised King James Bible. It's in cranberry red water buffalo. And uh, I make these movies uh, videos outside because the light's really good and um, uh, you can see how nice this book is and it's got um, obviously gold stamping five raised hubs and they're very distinctly raised uh, I've had I've got a few church Bible publishers Bibles in um, iron calfskin which is very soft really buttery soft and um, and so the hubs are uh, probably a little more rounded these are uh, quite firmly pronounced which is really nice because they are designed to protect the gold stamping if it you know as the book is down on the table or whatnot so um, anyway this is this is water buffalo in this lovely rich sort of slightly slightly toned um, very uh, wrinkled <laughs> and very uh, it's a very um, firm kind of a leather not hard it's um, it, it, but you can feel all the grain as as you hold it because I've, I've had it for about two hours um, so I'm sort of getting used to the feel of it and um, it has uh, cowhide on the inside here not there that's um, it's just the end pages uh, and where they bind it in the leather into the book but um, that's a cowhide which is textured and um, it's bound right to the edges it's like a they just meet so there's no ridge or anything it's just dead flat which is pretty amazing um, pretty amazing to uh, I'm used to them being um, perimeter stitched uh, all the iron calfskin ones which have the faux fake leather inside uh, um, whereas this is actual cowhide and that's the water buffalo and it's a lovely 
lovely gilding uh, they do with the round, really nice, I really like those, the rounded um, bookends, the top and bottom, and um, it's it's a different feel, I'm used to iron casking, or, or the Bibles that I have are iron casking, so this is, it's a slightly glossier feel, a little more sort of slippery, um, so uh, I've got to get used to sort of gripping it and holding it, because um, uh, I have started to read it. I'm in the Book of John at the moment, but um, maze it, it's different. And what I I've already sort of deduced about it is that um, it's going to be extremely durable. This is um, the book that's going to go everywhere for me. And I bought this one because I have a, um, I've got a brown iron calfskin King James Bible because I, you know, that's all church Bible publishers make and that's all I read, uh, you know, authorised King James. It, uh, and um, is that um, the brown uh, iron calfskin one that I have is the exact same size as this same size uh, different inside though and uh, uh, somewhat different inside same 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 Bible but it's a different uh, differently put together and I should have brought it out here but I didn't so I just I don't want to go back inside and get it so we'll just keep going with this anyway so what I'm saying is that I have this size Bible it's called the hand size. I've got fairly small hands, but you know, it's a big hand size. It's really a lovely Bible, and to me, it's the perfect one because I've got a couple of I've got the turquoise in the mid size, which is um, bigger, and I've got the um, signature series uh, red letter. My turquoise is not red letter, and the signature series, and you generally see me in my red one. Um, reading my red one uh, is um, red letter and and bigger and so therefore it's heavier uh, well, this is a little bit deeper than those but um, it's a much more compact Bible for me to hold uh, you know, like I said I've got fairly small hands and um, it's just easier for me to use whereas the other ones are really quite weighty and so because I had the brown one in ironed calfskin and I just couldn't resist getting water buffalo to see what it's like you know I really want to see what it's like and everybody gets their Bible and then they say look look how bendy these covers are these are quite stiff uh, not uncomfortable stiff I mean you can see it's it's really flexible I mean it's leather and um, and and you know you can sort of scrunch it up and it resumes its shape obviously and what I've noticed is already is because I read on my lap a lot read my book on my lap and um, you, you know you want the yap to be um, protect the book so when it's resting on my lap it's um, so it's not damn I'm not I, and with all my bowls I don't touch the gilding um, and with this and I've seen other people do it on theirs with their water buffaloes and they've had theirs for a few months and they um, you can mold because it's sort of it's it seems very flexible. You can mold, mold it around. You know what I mean? Mold it around the corners, and um, so that it's even more sort of shaped, not sort of just square, straight out of the box. You know, and after you know, I've had some use. So it's very. Um, it's really. I've been I mean, sort of scrunching it up and bending it and making the corners. You know, making that sort of shape that you like when they you've had them for a while and they um, you can just crink, crinch those scrunch those corners up this leather feels really nice to do that too I know it sounds really weird but you know all us who love a good leather Bible well this is a really good leather Bible and because the iron casking is so buttery soft and it's quite sort of, you know, these leathers are, uh, th it's not super thick leathers, but this is thicker. I can tell this is a thicker, this is a platinum series. So this is the top of the, top of the line 
King James Bible for church Bible publishers and it's upside down. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was so busy, busy flexing that leather. But um, so uh, yeah, everybody who gets this, they go, oh wow, look at this amazing leather, and it feels. You can hear it. It's 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 different. It's a re it's it's soft and the in this cowskins feels really nice with it uh, and um, has you know that nice sort of crinkle to it you know when you crinkle it and it goes all like that but um, really nice grain but I can tell that this Bible I can take anywhere and I've got a nice bag that just fits it bit bigger than this a nice Bible bag to take around the place if I want to just pop it in the car and take it with me or go any place I know that this cover is not going to get scratched or damaged because I'm really particular with the iron calf skin you know you, you want to be really because it's so fine and soft um, that um, that I can tell this feels like one good um, sort of rugged isn't quite right quite the right word but it's it's lovely. I know that I'm going to have this forever until Jesus comes to take me up in the air with all of you. And um, the back's got a really nice grain on it. I know a lot of people overdo the flashing of the light on their Bibles to show the grain. You can have a look close up because the light's really good out here. That's the back. That's the front. The colour's glorious. So just a lovely, there you can see it, lovely um, sort of quite delicious really. I have a friend who said that um, Bibles look delicious. Well, it's the leather. Anyway, so we can hop on into the inside. We can all go on and look at this leather forever. But that's really, you know, that's us enjoying it in the flesh, absolutely. And the, um, the... Who doesn't like a good Bible? Uh, this is um, total page, and every Bible of theirs has a sticker with the ID on it, um, the item number. And um, but Bible-wise, this has the um, uh, to King James, and then it's got all the as the Epistle Dedicatory and all the pages of translation to the reader. Um, the full thing, which is like my other one too, it's got the whole thing, and I've I've read a lot of that. I would really like to get to read all of it because often the writing's too small. But actually, looks a bit more bold in this one. It's a different typeface uh, to my brown iron calfskin one, which I thought I thought this was going to be exactly the same, but it's not. And I can actually read this bare eyes outside without glasses, and that normally it's uh, the translation. Right, turn translators to the reader is usually really tiny, um, so that's pretty good size actually. Um, and now uh, this book has a much bolder typeface and even a different typeface to my brown iron calfskin one, which is the same size. And I thought I was getting the exact same book, but I'm not. So I opened. I thought, oh, this is bolder. Now I'm not sure that I'm a great lover of bolder type, but that's what you get with this one in their platinum series. So. Um, you can see it's a, well, it, that's what it looks like. And um, yeah, it's got how to pronounce, obviously, and that's, um, you know, Genesis page. But uh, the type's really quite, it's very definite. Like my other book is got a lighter, a lighter, slightly finer weight or typeface. Uh, to this one, but um, nonetheless, I can read this, and I've got one eye that works, and one eye that I can't read with at all. Um, after all the ops on my, on my right eye, but um, I do see things, but I can't read, and I keep asking the Lord, "Let me see, let me read with both eyes." I really want to read the Bible with both eyes, please, Lord. I pray, but um, nonetheless, I digress. This is a red letter, and because the type is pretty bold, you can see it, and uh, you'll notice that it's uh, a text only, whereas my 
my brown hand size is centre column and all my Bibles are centre column so this is the first one I've ever had that's not got the references in it and honestly I, I don't need them uh, and if I do need them I've got one of the other Bibles to you know, look in and I've got uh, Schofield notes in one of the others in the, uh, the bigger books but um, not in the brown calfskin one at this size I don't have Schofield notes anyway so that's that's a really nice really nice red it's it's um, slightly deeper red to the ones I've got in my other red letters in my bigger Bible but um, yeah it's, uh, it's this a full page of red letter I'm in John it's, my, it's got three by the way it's got three ribbons I've only got one out at the moment I don't need them all out uh, but I'll get them out as I go I like to have one in Psalms usually because uh, normally they have two so this these platinum series have three very nicely fitted as always but um, yeah it's pretty good red isn't it and it's got um, concordance which I always like um, always like the concordance it's always in a smaller type uh, but I can outside I can read that pretty clearly and if I have any trouble I use my magnifying handheld magnifying glass so it's got the, the concordance and um, and then the index of maps and the usual church bible publishers maps and uh, no note pages but that's okay I never write in my bibles anyway and it's got at the front of course the obligatory dedications not dedications what am I saying presentation pages uh, as we always know and I don't spend too much time on them because you know I don't use them either but um and there's one of the ribbons, brand new. This is, I only got this Bible today in the post. Took two weeks to get here. Um, and uh, I would have got it yesterday, but Monday was a public holiday, and today's Wednesday, so I had to wait one more day. But uh, it's worth it. It's here. It's lovely. And um, who wouldn't want one of these? Pricey, but um, do you want me to tell you how much it cost me? Mm, well, it's um, nearly three hundred dollars Australian, so uh, it's uh, hundred and fifty, hundred no, hundred and twenty five, hundred and fifty. I can't remember how much it is American, but anyway, it cost me um, three hundred shy, a couple of bucks sh shy of three hundred dollars to get this Bible here, and I I know that this is the one that I am going to just use all the time it's the right size for me um, and I can uh, read this anywhere that size text I think it's 10 point in whatever the typeface is I don't know that it says what the typeface is you know it should but they don't do that in this Bible others do some I've seen on other people's uh, in America they've got other Bibles I've never seen before and, and some of them have the font font type, the type of typeface inside. But anyway, this is a, a little bit of water buffalo, and uh, I'm very very happy with it. Like I said, I've had it two hours, so um, and I've given it a little test drive. And the last two hours have a read and a feel and a scrunch. So. If you want a Bible that's going to last you forever and you can take anywhere, and I know that I can take this anywhere, I can spill anything on it if I, if by any chance I get any dirt on it or food on it or, you know, I'm never going to scratch it. I've never scratched any of the others, but I'm, you know, I'm really careful with the iron calfskin. But this is one very durable, lovely Bible platinum series, Church Bible Publishers, and I think this is a long video long enough on the luxuries of very special Bibles fancy leather anyway that's me, that's from me and my Bible you can see how big it is
a big size for me. Don't want to lug around a great big heavy one. This is really lovely and it's got red letter which uh, is what I wanted because I really love seeing um, the words of Jesus in red. And um, now I've got it all in one Bible. Whereas before my brown, um, the reason I got this one is that my brown one is just all black. Uh, black text. There's no red letter and I really like red letter. So I usually use one of the bigger ones when I'm reading the Gospel. Uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And then I'll go back to my brown one. But now I've got red letter and everything in this one. So thanks for watching and God bless and thanks for seeing my lizard and John there sitting down having a little sleep and the other one the other cat's behind me somewhere in the garden and the other one's inside two of them are inside anyway that's enough about cats and lizards thanks for watching nice bible think about getting one it's something different thanks for watching god bless bye bye